up, YouTube? Topaz Ace back for another daily review, and this one is to that logic, everybody. And I'm giving this one the yellow light because honestly, it's not that great of a song, but yet it's not terrible either. Keep it 100. The thing that I really like the most about it is the overall concept where he's breaking it down in the Hulk like everybody bleeds, we're all human beings. Like there's really not that much difference between all of us and all of that dude. But yet when he jumps into the verses, he jumps into the first verse talking about how people try to perceive themselves as greater than what they are, being more gangster than what they actually are and all of that, man, and using TV images to go ahead and push all of that. And that's definitely true, man, because everybody is out there creating false images and such of themselves in order to go out there and sell and be accepted and into the current state of the music industry and all of that, dude, when that's not necessary, because there's always somebody who comes out who's completely different that everybody just tends to rock with because they're hot. So why not try to be the new hot dude who's changing the game instead of trying to fit in with everybody else. And then in the second verse he goes into his biracial problems in which he did this off of the last album I believe man and here's just the thing man this is something that a lot of biracial kids and all that have issues with but here's just the reality yes you get picked on by a bunch of black people for but here's the thing man you got to understand there is no such thing as a biracial race and all of that people trying to walk the lines between white and black but it doesn't work like that white people are not not going to let you rock with that. Now you may get made fun of by ignorant people in the black community or young kids who really don't know any better and such. What white supremacy is going to do to you is far worse. They could end up killing you. White supremacy will take away all of your potential opportunities to make a living to actually live out here and force you into the prison system. So which one is worse to you? So this is my thing about all of the tragic mulattoes and stuff out there who's trying to pretend like they can't be claimed anywhere else and they're biracial and all of that. You're going to need protection, you did, because white supremacy is coming to kill everybody who's not white, and you're not white. Yet this verse really fits into the song because he's overtly talking about how we're all people and such. Why should there be discrimination for somebody who is of mixed race? That's ultimately the direction that he's going with it. I feel that, but there's a strong lack of lyricism here, man, especially when it comes to punchlines and all that. Like, he's definitely just getting something off of his chest here. And a bunch of people out there have been saying that this has a lot of similarities similarities to that we gonna be all right from Kendrick and such and I somewhat heard I mean it's not a strong relation and such but yet with his last album, a lot of people saying that it was a lot like Kendrick stuff as well, man. This is something that he kind of needs to stray away from. But this concludes today's review, man. And now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Mo Brown before we jump into some of your questions. <laughs> the consensus of a bunch of people sending comments and stuff to me about that Freddie Gibbs album is that it was dope. It was doper than what I rated it to be and such, man. And you know, I respect that, man. As long as you mad respectful with it, man. And we can honestly sit down and talk about it because quite honestly, I want to hear people's thoughts. And SRD Visions asked me if I would break down why I like Black Jesus so much. The TV show that come on Cartoon Network and all that. And just real simple, man. The reason why I like Black Jesus the most is because, one, it's the most accurate portrayal of Jesus as far as skin tone and all of that. And two, it's really the only positive rendition of Jesus that's on TV and such. Because when you look at TV shows like South Park and all of that, they try to throw shots at Jesus and all of that, dude. While even though this show is a comedy and it has its ranchiness to it, man, ultimately Jesus is there to do something positive for all of these people. It just relates to today day and age. And then throw in the fact that some of the writing is really good. I mean, I'm not going to say it's all dope, man. I'm not saying that all of the jokes hit and nothing like that, man, because a lot of times it comes off flat. But yet, ultimately, I feel as though it's well-rounded of a show. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.